Hey, John Morris here, and in this video, we're going to talk about the array diff associ function. So, what this function does is it allows you to compute the difference between a primary array and any number of comparison arrays to see if certain values exist in those comparison arrays, and then it will compute the difference for you. And so what it returns is an array containing all of the values from your primary array that are not present in any of the other comparison arrays. The one thing to keep in mind with this particular function that's different from some of the other array diff functions is that is the associative part. And what that means is that in the comparison, it's actually going to use the array keys as a part of the comparison as well. And we'll take a look at that specifically when we get into the code. So let's go ahead and dive into that code and make some sense of this. So you'll notice that we have our first kind of example here, these first three arrays, and we have an array of values, and we have an array of another set of values, and this is our primary array. And you'll notice that none of these values in these two arrays match. So when we, want, when we run array diff associ, and this is our primary array, the first one we pass in, because none of the values match, and what this function returns to us is the values that are not in any of the subsequent comparison arrays, and since none of these values are in this comparison array, it's going to return to us all of these values again. Okay, so that's what we should get from this particular comparison here. In our second example, we have three arrays, and you'll notice again we have our values here, and we have our values in our second one, and again, none of those match, but in our third array, we have our A and we have our E that match. Now, what I want you to pay specific attention to here is you'll notice that in these two arrays, the A's here are in the exact same place and the E's here are in the exact same place. That is one of the differences between this function and some of the other array diff functions is that it looks to see if the keys also match. Okay, so you'll notice that I have an A here as well and we run when we run this comparison you'll see that this particular A since it doesn't match uh, the item that's in the fourth position in either one of these arrays, then it's not going to get canceled out. Right? So we'll look at that. So then we're running our comparison here, and so with all that kept in mind, what our output should be is B, C, A, and B. All right, so let's go ahead and head on over to our page here and take a look at that. So here we have our, we're just printing out our first two arrays that we're comparing. So these are our two arrays that we're comparing. This is our primary array. This is our comparison array. And then this is the result, resulting array of our comparison. Again, since nothing matches in these two arrays, it returns us our original primary array. Now if we move down here to our second example, then again we have our three arrays, we have our primary array, and then we have our two comparison arrays. And again, the matches are, in this position we have, our first position we have the A, and the same with here. And then in the fourth, or the fifth position, the fourth index, and we have the E, and we have the same up here. And again, you'll notice that here we have an A but here we have a one, and so that's not a match. And that's, again, the difference between this function and some of the other array diff function. It looks to see if the key, it matches the key and the value, okay? So what we get returned back then is we get returned back what doesn't match. So what doesn't match is the B, the C, the A, and the B, okay? So that's what the array diff associ function allows you to do. That can be useful in terms of working with database data and so forth. You may have some comparisons that you need to do there. So you may find that handy in that instance. But that's what the array diff associ function does. Hopefully you found that helpful. I'll talk to you later.